Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 22nd through the end of the month. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and I will be doing your April reading in the next couple of days. So these fell out, we're going to take them. What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Lobster, you may be in a financial pinch. Owl, good advice from a wise person. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Box, you will receive a gift. So you are due for a gift. <sighs> you got to handle something very carefully this week. You're going to be receiving advice from a very wise person. Pay attention. Financial pinch. So you may be in a financial pinch, but it's just a pinch, okay? It's not going to last. So what do we have for Libra? That card just came a flying out. A couple other signs have got it. Taurus was one of them, and... I don't know what the other sign was. I did it a few days ago. Um, I don't know what it was. Anyway, I know that Taurus got this and another sign got it as well. Anyway, the Knight of Swords is an arrival of some sort. Something is arriving, okay? This is somebody that is coming in to, um, in the nick of time by the looks of things. This person's coming in the nick of time. They're going to save some, somebody by the looks of things. This is a savior. Now, I know somebody's going to say, I don't need a savior. I don't either, okay? But I'm telling you what I see, okay? This is somebody that is coming in, you know, uh, at the nick, in the nick of time, okay? They're coming in in the nick of time. It looks like they are about to you know, save somebody, save somebody from a desperate situation of some sort. Um, the Knight of Swords is somebody that doesn't have any fear. This is somebody that is very noble, um, courageous, intelligent, uh, maybe in a, a position of authority. This is a leader. Obviously, this person is on some sort of a mission and they're going to fulfill their mission. This is, this is, if he's, what I just heard was search and rescue. So I don't know if this is person is coming to the rescue. Um, I feel like something has already happened. There's going to be some sort of rescue by the looks of things. Um, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is somebody that, you know, I, I wonder, this person is very strategic, very, very fast paced, very, quick thinker so this person it could something could happen by sudden you know this could be a sudden arrival you know somebody just shows up out of nowhere you're not expecting it you may be in a situation where you know there's some sort of desperation somebody shows up out of nowhere uh, we may have another person that is in a desperate situation and their savior arrives um, hmm. this person is an expert at what they do Okay, we have an expert, um, very, very experienced. It is about to take swift action. Strength reversed. Star card. Now, this is a wish being granted. Star is a card of hope and renewal. Unexpected help. <laughs> There's unexpected help arriving, Libra. I feel like you don't see it coming. Uh, now, this strength card is a card of weakness. It's a card of lack of confidence, feeling inadequate. We may have somebody here that doesn't feel good enough. There could be a lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, lack of respect for oneself, doesn't believe in oneself. So you may be in a place where you don't believe that this person is ever going to arrive or they're ever going to show up or somebody that you're dealing with. This could, reading could go vice versa. You could be the savior, you know. Um, we do have somebody here that is in a desperate situation and they need help. They need help and help is arriving. You could be the help that is arriving or vice versa, okay? Help is definitely arriving, okay? 
and it may it may help with this financial pinch I don't know star card is a wish being granted prayers being answered somebody's prayers have been answered these two cards just flipped over Ooh, the lovers and the tower now the lovers is a separation it is a detachment from a partnership that is not compatible there's probably some sort of dismantling of a false foundation a false sense of security there could be some major disturbance or a major disruption that causes a major change, a life change. There is a separation that leads to building a new foundation. So somebody is going to be building a new foundation someplace else. Wherever they were at, it was unstable. It was uh, not positioned correctly. It, was in a danger it may have been in a dangerous place. Now they're going to be rebuilding someplace where, you know, there's more ground right where there's more stability more security um there is a detachment from a false contract false contract okay so somebody is definitely breaking free starting with a clean slate they have been attached to something that is not compatible okay and the star comes after the tower. So this is unexpected help arriving after a major disruption or a major change in your life, a, a major event that changed you in a big way. I'm not sure there could even there could be there could even be an accidental separation. You know what I mean? Something could have happened by accident. There could have been an argument that caused somebody to leave suddenly. There could have been a sudden departure. It's interesting because we have somebody down here. It looks like it's it's too late for this person. It is too late. So I, I do believe that there's a sudden departure that leads to a sudden arrival. Okay, it leads to something unexpected happening and allows you or allows somebody to build a new foundation. This is a necessary evil. So I believe that there is an event, if it hasn't happened already, that causes a separation that really wasn't meant to be. It wasn't stable. It wasn't solid. It was false. It was built on false pretenses. It may have been built on, you know, um, on, sh on shaky ground from the very beginning. From the very beginning, it wasn't stable. You know, somebody may have gotten into this whole situation impulsively. Anyhow, I do believe that there is going to be a major change. Um, somebody is going to be building a new foundation someplace else. They're separating from somebody that, you know, there's, pro there's probably been a lot of conflicts with. There's been materialism. There's been, and I say that because sixes are about materialism. The six is reversed. They're letting go of a false contract, okay? And there is a blessing this is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls so there's been some sort of event or it's coming this week it could be coming this week we could have somebody that's sick that's ill that's weak okay this person could could be sick I mean strength card reversed is no strength it's, it's getting weaker getting sicker you know there we could have somebody here that is getting sicker maybe they need to go to a hospital there could be some sort of explosion there could be a disruption that you know you know this is a card of protection you know help arriving so i'm not sure if somebody somebody could need some sort of professional help and the knight of swords tends to be a professional okay so there and you could be the professional you could be helping somebody okay we do have somebody that is receiving some sort of pro professional help for uh, whatever has happened and i feel like there's a savior here and uh yeah and this is a card of healing. So if somebody is, is going to be healing from a contract. That's a false contract. A separation. Healing from a separation that happened. It was a shock. This is a shock. This is, this is a major life change that comes as a shock. This is starting with a clean slate. Somebody's going to be starting with a clean slate. Eight of Cups reversed. Six of Wands reversed. No victory. We have no victory here. We have a loser. We have somebody here that is very smug, very cocky. This is a one-hit wonder that doesn't follow through with anything. I mean, the Six of Wands is somebody that is all show. 
This is, this is somebody that is going to be losing. So somebody is losing a battle. They are losing a battle. They could be leaving without saying goodbye. Maybe somebody has left without saying goodbye. The Eight of Cups. Okay, the Eight of Cups reverse. Somebody's been pretending to be happy. There's been superficiality. You know, that's superficial. Somebody has been staying put, avoiding, totally avoiding leaving something that is unstable and insecure. But that's a false sense of security. Somebody has been uh, too weak. Okay, they've been too weak to. Uh, let go. They have been too weak to separate, okay? Or maybe they just, I don't know, needed somebody to help them. They needed somebody to help them separate. There is going to be a separation here. I feel like it's been avoided. It's been avoided up until now. There could be a fight that causes a separation. There could be a major disruption that causes a separation. We have somebody here that likes to fight, does not want to lose, wants to win at all costs with the Six of Wands. And it feels like this person is inexperienced though. This is somebody has that has an overinflated ego. And there's some unwelcome news that is coming because somebody is leaving. Somebody is leaving. They've stayed put long enough in this false sense of security. I feel like there's going to be a major disruption. There's going to be a major shakeup. Things are things are about to explode. Okay, things are. We have somebody here that comes in out of nowhere and they are on a mission. They are they they they're on a mission. They are on a mission and I feel like they they have a plan. They have a plan and, and it, maybe they're coming to save you from something that you don't even know, you know, you think you don't need to be saved from, you know. Um I don't I I you know I say the same thing. I don't need to be saved by anybody because I got this card in my reading as well. I was like, "What?" You know what I mean? But anyhow, um, this is help arriving. There is help. There's protection. This is a divine guidance. There is some sort of uh, divine connection here or somebody's prayers are being answered. There's a reason why everything happens. There's protection. Um, somebody is being protected. They're being protected from a false sense of security. They're being protected from a false uh, foundation. They're being protected from lies, okay? So everything happens for a reason. You think about uh, rejection is God's protection, and it really is God's protection. And I just, I didn't show you this yet, but we have a higher power here that's involved. This is, this is a higher power. This is a connection to God, okay? So I do believe that there is a rejection here that happened for a reason. And now there is there is a savior that is coming in to save the day because somebody has been false. They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. This is somebody who doesn't care who they hurt as long as they win. And there's going to be a major shakeup in the establishment or in the foundation. Okay, um, somebody is probably leaving without saying goodbye. Um, Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like somebody has been hoping that somebody was going to come back. They were hoping that somebody was going to change. This person is false. This is hoping, hoping that somebody, hoping that a partner that they had in the past was going to come back. Somebody has been hoping that. But this is not going to happen. There is no victory here. There, this is not going to happen because it's built on false pretenses. So if you are the one that has been hoping for this false soulmate to come back, there's a reason why this person isn't coming back. And it's because this person is sick in some way or they have a humongous ego. Humongous. Okay. Um, there's a higher power involved here. Um, that is, this is, this is divine guidance. It is really, really, really divine guidance. Um, some of you could be dealing with, I think I already said it. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, Leo. Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. Anyhow, I do believe that uh, somebody may be hearing the words, I'm sorry. You know, they, you, they could be hearing, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This has happened to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So somebody may be hearing the words, I'm sorry. Um, there is a loss. Because we see somebody down here. There is some sort of loss here. But there's also somebody that is saving the day. Everything happens for a reason. This is the card of reason. This is a wish being granted. 
um, every, that's a purpose. The star is a card of purpose. Um, there's healing that is needed. There's probably some profound healing that is needed. You may need to heal. You may need to heal from some sort of separation this week that comes out of nowhere. This is a shock. There could be a shock to the system. You know, this, this is some sort of shock. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is illusion. Somebody has been in a state of illusion. They have been feeding fantasy. They've made a poor choice. There's other options. Somebody's been trying to do too much. They have been unclear of the correct choice. They've been focusing on a fantasy. I feel like the illusion is about to be revealed, okay? The illusion, that says, I'm telling you what, there's going to be a reveal. We have somebody here that has been going overboard, you know, fantasizing about some sort of partnership that is unrealistic. Anyhow, the Seven of Cups reversed. That is confusion. We have somebody here that has been confused and they have been involving themselves in some a false contract. I mean, the Seven of Cups is even false. That's a false beginning. Somebody made a poor choice to involve themselves in a false contract. They chose to. And now there's going to be a major disruption. Okay, that tower is in the future. I know people are going to say, oh no, this happened two weeks ago. The tower's in the future. Okay? Not in the past. It's coming. Okay, it's coming. It hasn't happened yet. We have a major life change that is coming. Light is going to be shed on a false sense of security. Somebody is going to be leaving without saying goodbye. And somebody else is coming in just like that. Everything changes. This is destiny. It's karma. It's a cycle that is ending, being at the right place at the right time. There is a change that is coming. It is a positive change. Destined change, of course. There is karma here as well. So we have somebody here that is about to receive their karma. And I think it's for lying. And I don't know if it's you or the person that you're dealing with. And it could, and this karma could, resi could result in, you know, whatever has happened right here. I do feel as though you are protected, but whoever you're dealing with is not. So anyway, I feel like this week you should expect the unexpected. I feel like there is going to be a sudden change that shakes up your foundation. It shakes up your life. It shakes up your establishment. We have somebody here that is very cocky, smug, egotistical, shallow, that puts out false senses of security. This is somebody that doesn't follow through. This is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. This person's world is about to get turned upside down. Somebody has confused or they've they've tried to confuse, they've 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 put something out that is very false. But there's protection here. So, you know, I think that the universe, because Tower is a universe card, the universe is is trying to protect somebody, so they are going to break down, they are going to dismantle this 
false sense of security. They're going to they're gonna blow it apart. So anyway, things are about to change, and it, they're going to change for the better, believe it or not. I feel as though you, you need to expect the unexpected. Um, there is a blessing that is coming in. It's a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. There is going to be, there, I mean, I, I don't know what to say other than things are going to crumble and things are going to crumble really fast. Light, the truth is going to come be shed. The truth is going to come out. Somebody has been hiding something and everything is about to explode, okay? The truth is going to come out. We also have somebody here that isn't very noble. This person isn't noble. This person is 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 a loser, okay? This person isn't noble. This person is a loser. This person fights dirty. Three of Cups reversed and Ten of Cups. So Three of Cups reversed is, is parting ways. Parting ways from a friendship or a relationship. It's the end of a relationship. Ten of Cups are completions that lead to emotional fulfillment. So we do have somebody here that is going to be separating from a situation where there's, there's no emotional fulfillment there. And they're headed towards a relationship that is very emotionally fulfilling. So this is going to be a... And, and I shuffled. And the Wheel of Fortune... I just shuffled. And the Wheel of Fortune is back on the bottom again. So this is a positive change. This is a change of course, okay? This is the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new one. It's a major completion. Tens are completions. We have the completion of a cycle. And somebody is about to get some karma. So I don't know who it is. We have somebody here that has been very... Uh, delusional okay and they've been hiding something and it feels like everybody is about to see the truth good luck